How you doing, Chris? This is Steve Say from JoeBlow.com. I'm good. How are you? And where are you? Are you in Canada? Yes, yes. I am in London, Ontario. Oh, I grew up in Kitchener, so I know that area very well. Oh, I have friends from there. Oh, yeah? I was in London when the Blue Jays won the, the World Series, and it was pandemonium. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I'm actually a New York import. I've only been here for five years. Okay. How do you like it? I love it. I absolutely love it. Awesome. It's great. So I'm really excited to talk to you about the Sea Beast. What was it that attracted you to the Sea Beast project? Have you always been a fan of monsters from the depths and maritime mythology? <laughs> well, definitely a fan of monsters and a fan of, of uh, action adventure stories. Um, the, uh, the, I, I do remember loving, we had this thing called monster week where it was like all Godzilla movies. They would play after school. I love that. Yes. Um, I love the old, uh, <laughs> and all the old stop motion films, all the Harryhausen films, the Sinbad films. I yeah. love those. And, uh, and then Raiders of the Lost Ark changed me. I, I think that was a, that was a, a moment for me where I knew that I wanted to, to make movies. There was a moment where. I was, I was, of course, enthralled and entertained by the film, but I was cognizant of the fact that adults made this thing, right? Right. And, and I was like, oh, it's okay to grow up because I can still love the same things I love now as an adult. And so I, I had this, this conversation <laughs> that I think in part drove me to where I am today making movies. But King Kong was probably the one more than any of the rest that, that, that impacted me. Um, I, there was something about the voyage into the unknown, the uncharted island, the mysteries that lay beyond the horizon. All that stuff was so compelling to me. And there was something about a creature of that scale um, and, 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 and the fact that the filmmakers were able to create empathy for that creature. You know, that was something that, that, that stuck with me and I wanted to try to um, uh, emulate for, for the sea beast. Absolutely. Those movies brought this type of filmmaking to the next level, for sure. I used to marathon those movies with my father all the time. <laughs> so you've directed intense action sequences before for movies like Bolt and Big Hero 6 and Moana, but the scale of the Sea Beast feels like something else entirely. Did shooting this movie teach you valuable lessons about the art of direction? And was there any particular challenge uh, for you when you were working on this that you had to overcome? Yeah, well, probably you can infer from watching the CBs that I love action movies, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think I've always been in movies that I've worked on at Disney. I was always trying to push to make our scenes just a little bit bigger, a little bit more dynamic. Um, uh, when I really wanted to indulge the action. I think a great action scene to me is that's just pure cinema. And I was certainly uh, a big fan of The Road Warrior. Um, when I was a yes. kid, I remember just studying that poster before I was old enough to see it. Mm -hmm. Like, I think this might be for me. And then when I watched it, just certainly not being disappointed. I absolutely love that film. There's something about those practical stunts and the, and the, the audacity, <laughs> right? They are so audacious. And, and so I, I think that, has, that stuck with me. And I really wanted to make action scenes that were audacious. And, uh, and I, I feel with this one, just putting a stake in the ground and saying, this is an action adventure movie. That is the genre we, were, we are in here. Um, allowed me to go even further and to make things that were even bigger, hopefully even more spectacular. And, uh, and I remember watching Fury Road and thinking like, boy, this guy, he's still got it. And he's still pushing. He's, he's taking it another step further and thinking like, well, then I want to do it too. And, uh, and, and so uh, certainly George Miller has been a, a, a massive uh, influence for me um, where he was, he's capable of making these very gentle and very sweet moments that I love, but also making these really over the top action scenes that I love equally. And, uh, and, I, and I wanted to get both those things in this movie. Miller's new movie looks so wild. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for it, but it is, it is intense. Wait, there's a trailer for it? What the movie? Is that 3,000 Years of Longing or something like that? No. I have oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. You got to check it out. Well, um, I got to go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let, me get you, let me get you for a few more questions. If I'm just audiences, Because you're talking my language here and I'm getting all caught up because you're making me remember I had no restrictions growing up and I've seen all of these things. If audiences only get one thing out of the Sea Beast, what do you want that to be? 
Boy, one thing, because it, it, the, the movie would hopefully operates on two levels. And so I have a hard time reducing it to one. The, 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 on the, the main thing you want is that you, you're, you're actively working on is, is, is just a piece of entertainment, right? So we want to have characters that are fun to be around, dynamics that are interesting, action scenes are spectacular. We want it to be at, operate at that level. But of course, you want things. You want that deeper resonance. You want thematic ideas that that that, yeah. that give you a little, put a little meat on the bones, you know. And and so for me, the thing that thematically, we, I, it was a movie where I was very upfront about saying that I think this movie is about more than one thing. There are multiple thematic ideas that kind of intersect with each other. But primarily, to me, the movie was about this this notion of a cycle of aggression, a cycle of violence, the things that feed into those things, how difficult they are to break out of those things. And how we might best overcome and move forward and break away from those cycles. Um, and I was, it was, uh, in a way, it was something a little heartbreaking about the fact that over the course of making this movie, some of the thematic ideas felt like they were resonating even more deeply. Um, and and so uh, I would say it was it was primarily about that. But the movie is about more than one thing, and I've heard people say that they took different things away from it and interpreted interpreted different things from the film. And, and which I think is completely valid and, and everyone will respond to different things. And so I can say what I think the movie is about primarily, but once the movie's out there, uh, an audience member will have their own relationship with the film and, and what they take from it is equally valid. Um, and so I invite people to interpret it as they will. I love that. Well, it looks like I'm almost out of time. So I just want to say thank you so much and wish you the best of luck on the launch of the film. And I can't wait for other people to check it out. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Absolutely. Take care, man. I'm going to watch that trailer. Yes, you do. Absolutely. <laughs> so All good. Right. We'll see it. Cheers. There was a time when sea beasts would ravage our shores and no ship was safe on the sea. But those days are over. Today, valiant warriors battle the beasts far beyond the horizon. You're Jacob Holland, a weapon against nature's darkest design. And I'm joining your crew. Oh no, you ain't. You stowed away? I... yeah. No, I like this kid. We're dropping you off at the nearest port. Hunting ship ain't no place for a kid. But you joined the ship when you were my age. Hold on, Daisy! Uh, and look at you now. That's not the same thing. Isn't it? No, it isn't. The Dragmore is thick with monsters. Monsters that want to eat us. We're not keeping it. But he's so cute. You and I have a different idea of cute. Just don't move. <laughs> Let's be going. <laughs> I see a fire in her. Same fire I saw in you. Monsters I can handle. We got it right where we want it. Wait, Jacob! That one. She'll be the death of me. Hmm. I swore I would do everything in my power to keep people safe. You can be a hero and still be wrong. The ocean has sent us its worst. Then we'll send it right back. wanted a pet. That's not a pet. But I already named it. Let me guess. Blue. Aww.